Okay, access to fresh water. Um, so this is pretty obvious, right? There's different availability of fresh water in different parts of the world. Some places there's lots of available fresh water, other places like the desert, there's not so much. And if there's not a lot of water, actually, it can lead to conflict, concerns over water security, et cetera. Um, actually here in Arizona, we almost had a, a direct conflict with California over our use of the Colorado River. Um, so access to fresh water varies widely. Some places have lots, some places don't. Climate change may even further disrupt that, so it could change rainwater patterns. Some areas might actually get more rainfall, some areas might get less. Um, as populations increase, as irrigation for farming increases, and as industrialization, as building factories and power plants increases, the demand for fresh water will also increase. People use fresh water, of course, for drinking and bathing and cleaning and everything. Um, of course, we use fresh water to irrigate our crops and also to keep them from getting too salty. And then industry also uses fresh water um, as part of their industrial processes or maybe uh, to help cool off their systems or even to generate electricity. Um, fresh water supplies can become limited through contamination um, basically, if they get polluted by some sort of chemical like DDT or by unsustainable abstraction. So if we take out more water than is being replaced, we're going to be using it unsustainably. Uh, we can enhance our water through the use of reservoirs like we do here, building dams and um, what we call lakes, even though they're not natural lakes. We can use um, canals to redistribute the water. We can use desalination plants to remove salt from the water. Um, in places like Tucson and Las Vegas, they're actually pumping their wastewater back into the ground to recharge aquifers. They do that after it's treated, of course. Um, or we might have rainwater harvesting schemes. Actually, on the building right here, there's a big barrel right, right next to me, um, which will collect all the water that falls on the building. Um, or we could use some water conservation practices to affect our demand. Um, but the scarcity of water could lead to conflict between human populations especially where they're shared. And we're seeing this sort of increasingly as the climate changes, as places get more dry, there's an even larger uh, competition and conflict for those water resources. So you should be able to evaluate different strategies that can be used to meet an increasing demand. Um, so reservoirs and dams work pretty well, but you lose a lot of water to evaporation, you lose a lot of habitat. Redistribution can work, but it's actually super expensive to move water around. It's very heavy. Desalination um, is getting better over time. The technology is continuing to improve. Still a little bit expensive, but it's getting more, more feasible. Um, recharging aquifers is a great idea. Um, it just depends on the aquifer. It could take you know rather short amount of time or upwards of um, decades to hundreds of years. Um, and actually rainwater harvesting, though super effective, um, different states might have different laws about whether or not you can harvest rainwater. Um, so some states it's actually illegal to harvest rainwater, which is kind of crazy. Um, or discuss with reference to a case study how shared freshwater resources have given rise to conflict. Um, there will not be a question um, about this on the exam. Usually we do a project specifically about that, but we didn't get to that this year, so fear not.